Hi, I'm Wes Williams. I play bass guitar with country band Rick Barnes and Cheyenne. I want to introduce to you Rick Barnes. He's the leader and the front man for the band. He's going to share his story and the story of Rick Barnes and Cheyenne. Take it away, Rick. The band Cheyenne started in 1980. It was started by my dad, Dick Barnes. He had been a sideman bass player for a lot of different acts throughout the years and uh, most notably he was on a show called the Pete Williams Show on WRGB TV in upstate New York. And uh, that ran from about 1963 to early 60s to 1972, somewhere in there I believe. Um, but he just decided one day that he didn't want to be a backup man anymore. He wanted to strap on a flat top guitar and step out in front and have his own band. And we've been a working band for 41 years now. Um, we, he was trying to think about different names for the band. We, we thought about it and we threw a lot of things out there, but nothing ever really seemed to stick. But one day we were going somewhere and we were sitting at a red light and a Chevy Cheyenne pickup pulled up alongside of us. And I looked at the name and I saw it and I looked at him and he had a smile on his face and we looked at each other and that was it. It was Cheyenne from that point on. He decided to put his name out front, Dick Barnes and Cheyenne because uh, he just kind of figured that a lot of times band members come and go, and that happens, especially when you've been around as long as we have, that when band members leave, sometimes you feel, well, two, three guys left, it should be a different name, it's a different band. Well, he never wanted that. He wanted something to, to stick, so he put his name out front to be the constant. If you come to see a Dick Barnes and Cheyenne show, you know you're going to see Dick Barnes, and you always did, and that, that was why he did that that way. Um, Dad had retired in 2004, and he had moved down to Tennessee and he wanted to uh, hand the band over to me. Boy, I was awful nervous, I'll tell you, because uh, he had pretty big shoes to fill. And I still ain't filled them and I never will. But uh, he, did, he had confidence in me and he said, that, you know, I'm sure you'll be able to do this. So uh, I did that and I always had him to, to talk to and to, you know, to converse with and give me pointers and tips. And he even come and did a couple shows with us afterwards. He drove back up to New York to do some shows with us. We had opened for Gene Watson and, and T.G. Shepard, and he came up and he did those shows with us. Dad passed away on uh, the Christmas of 2013, right on Christmas Day, and since that day, I've been on my own. Well, my mama met my daddy down in Alabama. They tied the knot, so here I am. When Dad retired in 2004 and I took over the band, I had a few ideas and some things I wanted to do to expand what we were doing. And I uh, produced a television show called the Adirondack Opry, and it aired for two years on a local TV station. Uh, we had a really good run with it. It was a, a fun show to do. And then uh, I also did a Christmas show. I had an idea. I wanted to produce a Christmas show. So I had a Christmas show, full-blown, dancers, kid, children's choir characters. It was a really, really good show. And we did that at the Glove Theater in Gloversville, New York. And we sold that out for five years in a row. That was also a success. So I was pretty proud of that. And then when Dad passed away in, in 2018, and, or 2013 it was, I'm sorry, and he uh, wasn't there to give me advice anymore or to go to or to, to talk to, I just kind of took it off on my own. But I always took what advice he gave me and the things that he taught me and I ran with those. And the two biggest things that he taught me was one, be true to the music. He always said, if you're going to be a country band, be a country band. Don't be one of those bands that goes out and does a country song and then does a Led Zeppelin song and bounces around all these different genres trying to please all people. He said, be a country band and please the country people. Know who your crowd is, know who your audience is, let them know who you are so that you, when they come to see you, they know that that's what they're getting. They're getting a country band. It's okay to throw in a little 50s and 60s or maybe a little southern rock that's on the countryside, but don't get too far out into that genre. But that's what I've done. We stay true to the music. A lot of bands have had success with that mixing up all the, the different kinds of music, and that's great. More power to them. But that's not who we are. If you come and see Rick Barnes and Cheyenne, you're going to see a good country show with some professional musicians. And uh, that's just one of the things that he taught me. The other thing that he taught me was dress for the stage. He used to say to me, you're an entertainer, look the part. When you 
get up in front of that crowd, when you walk through that front door, they should know that, hey, that guy's with the band. They should be able to tell by looking at you. When you get up there, he says, you, you got you to look the part. you got to be that country guy in that country band. That's what they come to see. You know, nobody wants to come and see their next door neighbor up there on the stage in their shorts and baseball hats playing country music. It just never worked for him. If it works for you, that's great. It's just something that we've we've never done. And uh, I've carried his advice, and here we are, 41 years later, and we're still we're still doing it. And uh, that brings us up to the Cheyenne that we have today. ago I moved down to Gatlinburg and I decided to reform the band and uh, it's really tough when you're moving into a new area and you're trying to find guys that are of like mind and on the same page as you. So uh, what I did was I, I got these four guys together that are all great musicians, they all understand the music, they all want to do country, they want to keep a country, they want to do it right. And uh, they didn't know Dad from Adam but they respect the history, they understand my goal and what, what I was looking for, and they were more than happy to jump on board. Um, I got Les Williams on bass. You met Les at the beginning of this uh, this video. Yeah, you come knocking at my door, baby. Tell me what you got on your mind. I got Norm Mack on lead guitar. Busted in Austin. strong on keyboards. Maybe someday I'll be strong. And Bill Johnson on drums. One day I ventured in love, never once expected what the batteries ought to be. And uh, they all do vocals, which is pretty unusual to have five guys in a band that all sing. That's, that's really good. You get a good variety of music, good variety of vocals, a good variety of songs. And uh, these guys have just come in. They've done such a great job. And I guarantee you that if you book Rick Barnes and Cheyenne, you're going to be very satisfied with the show that you get. You're going to get a good country show. You're going to get entertained by five veterans in the music business who all know their instruments, know the songs. And we're not going to let you down, I guarantee you. Feeling confused, and I like my women just a little on the trashy side. Well, you should have seen the looks on the faces of my mom and dad. When I showed up at the door with my day before the senior prom. They said, well, pardon me, son, but that ain't no kid. That's a cocktail waitress in a Dolly Parton wig. I said, I know dad ain't she cool. That's the kind I dig. And I like my women just a little on the trashy side. When they wear their clothes too tight and the hair is dyed. Too much lipstick and uh, too much rouge. It's me excited, makes me feeling confused And I like my women just a little on the trashy side I like them sweet, and I like them with a heart of gold I like them brazen and bold They say that opposites attract But I don't agree I want a woman just as tacky as me And I like my women just a little on the trashy side And I like my women just a little on the trashy side When they wear their clothes to Tied and the hair is dyed. Too much lipstick and uh, too much rouge. To me, excited makes me feeling confused. And I like my women.
women just a little on the trashy side. Yeah, I like my women and I like them on the trashy side. <laughs> 